Hey everyone and welcome back to Art a la carte. I don't know about you but I love getting brand new art supplies especially like a brand new art medium that I've never tried. So this video is my getting to know the Fine Tech metallic watercolor set that I bought. I've seen many different artists use this product but I've never tried it out myself so I was excited to get it. I've been eyeballing it for months now and finally purchased it. And when I did finally receive it in the mail, I broke my first rule about new art supplies, which is you never use a brand new art supply or medium that you've never tried before on like a piece that you're really serious about. And if you watched on Friday's video, which was the YouTube Artist Collective video, I just threw it right on there. I didn't even I didn't even do a swatch to find out what the colors look like. I just jumped right in and Put the paint on the paper which luckily it turned out great i love how it looks but that could have been so disastrous so i highly recommend if you're trying a new art medium whether it's these paints or anything color pencils markers whatever to do um, a practice sheet or a couple practice sheets first at least do a swatch to see what the colors look like <laughs> before you start using them i chose and i'm so glad i did to do my testing on a black piece of paper. So I have a black sketchbook and decided to, to do it with that. And I also decided I wanted to do like this fun doodle design, which I've done lots of doodles with ink pens. I like to do that kind of when I'm just waiting for something to download or, you know, waiting for files to transfer, I'll, you know, doodle with an ink pen. And that's always fun, but I never have doodled with a paintbrush before. So I use a really small paintbrush and then a thin line art paintbrush, which those are the paintbrushes that have the really, really long, long bristles, but are really small. And that helps you to create a very smooth line. This exercise actually taught me way more than just about the medium. And so I'm going to go through a couple of, of things that doing something like this could help you to learn. So first thing that it taught me was about the medium itself. As you can see, I'm going through each and every single color multiple times. Um, I'm finding out if it if I layer the color does it make it brighter or bolder are some of the colors more opaque than others it's kind of like getting to know a friend you're asking them questions you know what is their favorite ice cream or their favorite movie or what's something that annoys them and, and you get to know this art supply and you get to know how much water does it take before you you run all over the place and become out of control or how much water do I need to use to get you to flow smoothly? How hard is it to rinse the paint from my paintbrush um, to get all the, the paint residue out of there before I switch colors? So doing something like this helps you to become like best friends with your art supplies so that when you are creating a piece, your art supplies aren't something that you have to fight to get to do what you want. You already know what it's capable of and you work within its boundaries and you know where you can push those boundaries. And that's all I thought I was going to learn from this piece, but really found some other fun things. So the second thing that this exercise teaches you in just doing random doodles. Now, let me say this before I go any further that there's not a single line on this entire doodle that before I put it down, I knew where it was going to go. I just randomly began to throw in lines and designs and patterns. And there's no pencil lines underneath that. There's no thumbnail sketch. It's just all, I put the paintbrush down and I just start to move it. So you have to have this level of confidence, even when you're not confident. Um, you want to make your line look like you knew where it was going to go before you even put it down. So when you look at it, you're like, oh, they worked so hard to plan out how this intricate design was going to work together. And, and really, I had no clue how it was going to work together. And there are parts in this painting that the paintbrush and the paint, as I'm getting to know this, um, did something that I was not anticipating. And it, to my first reaction, is a mistake. And I, you know, you can't erase these paints. Um, so you have to make something out of your mistake. So that in turn teaches you to be creative and to work with it and to take with, take what you got and create something that makes it look like you intended this. What this is teaching you is to not let 
your frustrated emotions overwhelm you. You make the mistake and you look at it for a second and then you just go with it. That's the beauty of, of creating these kind of doodles is that there isn't a wrong answer in here. If I was drawing a horse and I forgot what I was counting and I drew five legs, when people looked at that, they would say, well, there's there's a mistake in there. But if I draw a squiggle and the squiggle goes left instead of right, or I put too much pressure on the, on the paintbrush and the line gets really thick in a place that I really wanted it to be thin, or the two paints merge together and, and, and bleed in and bleh together, if I don't allow myself to go, oh, I didn't, that wasn't in my plan, I, I look at it and I go, this is my new plan and I fix that and I and I and I work with it then when someone looks at the picture they don't see that mistake maybe I will always see that mistake um, but no one else will that's why I find making doodles like this so fun is because it really you throw out all of the proportions and foreshortening and even you know there's some composition in here yes but you know all, all the other things that when you're drawing a specific item that that's in your focus and instead you're just focusing on the now on the moment and you're not worried about what you're going to do in the next moment you're just focusing on the now and trying it in different mediums doing doodles like this and in a paintbrush was really fun I really want to try and do more of those so I guess in closing I just encourage you guys if you have an opportunity to sit down and create a doodle whether it's in in uh, paints or pencil ink um, this there's a lot to be learned from a simple little doodle so yeah if you create your own doodle and post it on social media would love to see it so make sure to tag me I have my Instagram and Twitter information in the description box below you can post it to my Facebook page I would love to see the things that you create in a doodle well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this getting to know my art supply doodle. If you did, give it a thumbs up. So until next time, thanks for hanging out with me. God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.